All right, and welcome back to the 50th Baron Cup. We had you hanging around and, and uh, seeing all the, uh, the players being announced with the national anthem. And 15 minutes are on the clock here in period number one. And as we said, Canfield is in the black and red. They'll be going right to left if you're watching. And Chagrin Falls is in the gray and orange. And they'll be going left to right. And we're underway in the 50th Baron Cup. This is the Baron Cup three championship. This is uh, this is the best of the blue division. Yep. And these teams had great seasons so far now in back of the goal. Canfield in their offensive zone, working it. They're working the boards right now near, uh, not too far from where we're situated right now, Rob. And Drew Rostick has it on the left wing now and back of the goal. They're setting it up nicely right now. But, and a misplay there. And here comes Chagrin Falls, and that's John Ranieri, the senior. Comes up, shot on goal, and a save right away. Garen Bunker had a pretty good look at it there on the one-timer. So, yeah, good opportunity there, but a, a really nice save. Canfield clears by Kinnar. Pops it into the corner. Possession by the Tigers. And now here's a shot, shot on goal, goal, a save, a follow up, and a kick save. And a butte. Kick save and a butte. Charlie Gunn with a beautiful save. Man, Drew, uh, Drew Rossick had a, had a real good shot there. In the re and, and it was a very good, uh, great job on the rebound by Gunn on that as well. Man, Canfield was coming there. They ended up with one guy actually in the net. So obviously they were really pushing that puck towards the uh, crease there, and one guy got into the net, but unfortunately the puck did not. Canfield almost made Chagrin Falls pay for that uh, pay for the turnover in their own zone there. Yep. And, and Chagrin Falls now clears, and here they come in the neutral zone area. It's Tyler Bookman. Bookman has a shot. It is saved by Corey Narr. And I'll tell you what, he's had some good saves. We've had saves on both ends here. There's we have a. We have a face-off in the Canfield defensive zone. There's 13-17 left in the first period. Yeah, near side face-off. One by Chagrin Falls. Shot and a goal! goal! And that looked like Tyler Bookman, I believe. Yes. For right. Chagrin Falls. He went top shelf, right side. And Chagrin Falls on the board first at 13-12 here in the first period. They have quite a, a face-off one by Chagrin Falls, and Bookman had a, we had a real great, good shot at that. Um, so Tyler Bookman in the books with his first goal of the game here. Chase Roman with the assist uh, from the face-off almost. And uh, we are one to zero, Chagrin Falls. And there's a shot that went high and wide, and that was Matt Scalari. Scalari. Yeah. And here comes Canfield putting a little pressure, a, but a turnover there. Brian Woke lost the puck there in the neutral zone. Now in Canfield zone along the boards, near side. Chagrin Falls able to keep it in. Physical game so far. 12.30 left here in the first period. Chagrin Falls scores first and is leading 1-0. Here comes Canfield. All the way along the left side. What a move there, and that's Brian Woke. Try to take it all the way, and it's stolen by Chagrin Falls now. Outlet pass over to the right wing. Ooh. And a nice job covering that up. That was uh, Matisse Dupre there on the uh, on the right-hand side, just serving it up, just throwing it out there. You never see, you never know what's going to happen when you toss the puck in front of the goal. Keeping in mind, this is how uh, Chagrin Falls scored on the last time from a faceoff. See if they have the same luck here. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching our live broadcast on Facebook Live or Sports on Tap. And here comes Canfield now in their own zone as they lead it in neutral ice. Now near side wing. Shot save. Wow, great shot from the outside there. Charlie Gunn with a nice save. And it's cleared. And here comes Chagrin Falls now. That's All the way, and yeah, a nice no. save. Goal! Oh wait, they pushed it through. Second it goal of the, of the period here. And it was saved originally 
And I think that's what Corey Kinnar is talking the refs. He saved it originally, and then the follow-up, they punched it through. Let's see what he's going to say. Is it a... Is it going to count here? It's like Darren Bunker on the on the uh, on the great individual effort there. Yeah, just to follow that up, let's make sure. Yeah, you're right. Bunker unassisted. That was a great individual effort by Bunker. You saw you saw him slice through the zone there, and he's able to looks like he's able to punch in his own shot there. So two nothing, Chagrin Falls with 11:25 left here in the first period. Can Canfield respond? They were 16-3-3 this season. And the blue division is both these teams just had great seasons. Well, Canfield was able to get a lot of games in this year. Yeah. I know, and especially with everything going on. I mean, to play over 20 games. And here comes Chagrin it's falls like on the attack it's again. Like Bunkers at it again. Pass across the across the center was not able to connect with his man, and it's going to get kicked back out. And we'll get an icing call at 10:47 here in the first period. Yeah, we'll get some uh, get a, get a line change here for both squads. 10:47 left in the first period. It is 2-0. Chagrin falls over the Canfield Cardinals. We have a faceoff in the Canfield defensive zone, won by Chagrin Falls. There's another shot on goal right off the faceoff. Man, Chagrin Falls is really making these faceoffs count. They're getting a lot of pressure on the goal and on the defense here. And, you know, Canfield's doing their best to clear it, but it just seems that every single time they get it into neutral ice or into their own, into the Chagrin zone, that Chagrin's just ready and they're able to push it back up with more and more pressure towards uh, Canfield. You wonder if Canfield was able to convert on a couple of those early opportunities, how much, you know, how, how different. You know th this would this would be because right now Chagrin Falls has been on the attack since that very very early flourish from Canfield and they've been able to connect on their opportunities. Um, Tyler Bookman just narrowly missed on that la on the uh, on the last shot. There it was a good save yeah. uh, by Nar. Canfield not surrendering. You could tell they're kind of maybe a little shell shocked here, being down two goals this early in the game. But they're kind of re they're definitely rebounding and they're definitely coming back to to push the push the agenda here towards Chagrin Falls. Been a pretty clean hockey game so far. No penalty minutes yet. Not yet. And Good again, hard. a great op, a great venue here to watch Baron Cup hockey here at the John L. Coyne Brooklyn Rec Center. I think it's M. M? Yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, it's L M. L M. M. They're close. <laughs> shot we'll just, get it right. Shot just wide of the goal by Canfield. By, yeah. the, by the end of the day, I'll get it right. And here, and Drew Rostick in the back trying to fight, and, and it's going to be wisely. Charlie Gunn, the goaltender for Chagrin Falls, the senior goaltender, covers it up, and we'll have a face-off near side here. So Brian Wilkes going to take it for Canfield, and he won by Chagrin Falls. There. Tyler Tyler Bookman with the face-off win there, still kept in a centering Center, pass. Oh, Ooh. that was dangerous. Rostick, he. Now Chagrin Rostick falls on the attack. Charlie Simperman really broke that up. That's a great job on his part. And Tyler Bookman looks Good like save. He had, looks like he had a shot there. Uh, Nor with the save though. If one for Simperman, um, the Rostek had a had a pretty much a wide open shot at the goal there. Yeah. So I mean. Yeah. So at 9:40 in the first period, still two nothing. We'll have a face off in the Canfield zone, and they try to clear it, and oh. they do as it skips past. Chagrin falls there. And that was. Skips past eight. Simperman. Yeah. Simperman unable to keep it in. And they're controlling the puck, though. Nice pass past the blue line. Ooh, and that was. Dangerously close to high stick there. Yeah, pretty close. Another shot that just went wide. So Chagrin falls Another there. Another shot on goal. And that's Matisse Dupree. They're going to clear this back out. We're going to have a no touch icing. 9.04 left here in the first period. So far, Charlie Gunn has, uh, has four saves, unofficial count, of course. Uh, <laughs> Corey Nars got five. I think if Ed's doing it, guys, it's official. I was going to say, it's, I mean, pre it's, it's pretty it's, official. It's Ed official, I would call it. <laughs> if anyone else is keeping track and wants to correct me, please do. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I said. Um, Anytime, you know, we have a lot of people listening and 
watching. 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 I got to quit saying listening because well, we're, we're, we were in video audio. now. Yeah, we're video. We're in the 21st century. <laughs> Canfield's got the puck here deep in the... Offense is on oh. a centering pass oh, off man. the wow. post. Ross Tech had, was being tied up there. Yep. Uh, looks like by Reed Dowling was, able, was not able to get the, the cleanest of shots there. Wow, Canfield good. still in their offensive zone. Some of these shots have been a little off goal here. Ross Tech wrap around the goal. Oh, nice pass. Centering pass from the point. Ooh, shot blocked. didn't make it. And it's still, though... Canfield fight. keeping it alive in and the zone now. Yeah, this is a good fight in the offensive zone for Canfield. It was Morgan Prather with the, with the attempt there. Oh, no. uh -oh. oh, poke check here. And here comes Chagrin Falls. Looks like that's Bunker. Good defense on the Canfield side to, to break that up and not allow him a clear path to the crease. And we saw last time that Bunker had a clear shot and he was able to put it in. Good. On his own rebound, too. Yeah, right. <laughs> 7.50 left here in the first period. Here comes Canfield. Uh -oh. It's like Ross Tech. He's everywhere. Nice and actually a good pass to keep it in, and it's going to go right back to him in back of the goal. He lost it. And yeah. it is cleared by Chagrin Falls. That's Eli Dredge over there a little bit as well. And we got a clear. It looks like we're going to get a line change on both teams here. At least the forwards for Canfield. Mostly of most, most nice. of the whole line change for nice. Falls. Nice passing at center ice. Chase Roman tracked it down over in the right corner here. And it's turned over, though, by here comes Canfield. They look to start something, but unable to as it's dumped back down in their own zone. Now in back of the net. Looking, and a shot, another, another goal. goal! By Chagrin Falls as wow. the pressure continues to mount. And just great passing there. That was Chase Lowry on the goal there. And it's 3 nothing with 6.57 left in the first period. Chagrin Falls has really been putting a lot of pressure on Canfield's defense here early on. Rob Troutman, Sean Duffy, Ed Dick here with you on the call. Jeff Troutman on the camera. That's Tyler Bookman's second assist of the, second assist of the game. Pretty impressive as Chagrin Falls offense continues to be impressive here early in the first period. A lot of game left, and Canfield has had some chances here. Actually, I think Bookman had a first goal. My, my, my mistake. Got, okay. Got to fix my books here. <laughs> Chagrin Falls now has the puck a turnover in their own zone, and here's Canfield. Eli Dredge over in that right corner. Now to Rostick, who lost it. And it's a crossing pass in neutral in the neutral zone area that goes all the way down in Canfield zone where Chagrin Falls is called for icing and they were switching lines as well. So 6.07 left here in the first period. So Chagrin Falls has had some real good looks uh, at the goal and they just, they have not missed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Taking advantage of every opportunity. And again, we talked about it, consistent pressure. Uh, it's not, it's not, it may not be the first shot on goal, but they're following it up, whereas Canfield's getting one or two shots, but not, and, but it's being cleared pretty quickly so far, in the, at least in this first quarter, or first period. And Bunker won that face off for Chagrin Falls and then tried to track it down and lost it. Here comes Canfield now. And there's a pass that was turned over and Canfield's still trying to keep it in, although they want to stay on sides there. They're in the neutral zone area. Scaleri trying to take it down the right side, the left side, sorry. Rostick from the left side, a shot, oh, and it just went just wide, wide right. Yeah, just wide there. Tyler Christie trying to knock like, it back into the zone. But like we said, not a lot of people around the goal for Canfield, so it's just one and done, and it's getting cleared pretty quickly. So now Chagrin falls with 5.20 left in the oh. first period, unable to get it out of the zone. Brian, Brian woke with a great individual effort there. He's back up on his feet. Trying to help out, uh, trying to help out Dredge. Now on, on the right wing, Canfield. Not sure, is that a timeout or what happened here? Stoppage of play for sure. Looks like we're gonna have a we're gonna have a penalty here.
All right, so we got our first power play of the day. Canfield will be on the power play. Two minutes to see if they can take advantage here, being a man up. All right, here's Canfield. Now on the left side, tried a shot, missed it, then shot it again, and it was saved. That and was for Canfield, yeah, that was Matt Scaleri with a shot. There's another shot and another save. Rostick now. Charlie Passes Gunn. out at the point. Charlie Gunn is going to be probably under the gun here. Yeah. Uh, that was <laughs> pun intended. You're welcome. Fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Rostick now handles it on the side of the net and back of the Chagrin Falls goal. Uh, Setting up a good offense here. Garen Bunker is the uh, recipient of that penalty. Interference oh. to uh, There's a the shot penalty. save. Okay. 425 left. Chagrin Falls has it. Can they clear? No, they can. Here it is at the point. Another shot. It's oh, oh that looked close. Solari. Just oh. a little bit. Right. Now they set it up at the point. Come over. Pass oh, on the left side, still controlled. Trying to get Dredge there on yep. the inside cut. Dredge, a pass in front, a shot. Didn't make it there. Now to, to the point, shot in front of the goal. Oh. Follow-up shot, save. Great save, great Rostick, save. Rostick, and it's still in there. Another shot, Canfield. it didn't make it. Wow, Canfield's really pressuring now. 44, 40 seconds left in the power play. And it's finally it's cleared with 3.45 left in the first period. The Sagrin Falls defense has was fantastic during that. A lot of those shots didn't even get to gun uh, just because of how, how tight the defense was. Yeah, uh, you're right. And they had some good shots and follow-up shots, but unable to punch it through. Ross Tech out in the low. Oh, that was Scalari. He didn't give it a crack. Still able to keep it in along those boards. Sharon yep. Falls is just about to kill this penalty. Yeah, five seconds on the power play before Chagrin Falls is at full strength, and you'll hear it here. Full strength, the Whoa! shot in front. Wow. Man. Dredge just missed to the right. Woke did a good job of navigating behind the goal and found Dredge, and he just wasn't able to finish. And now it's getting, it's getting a little chippy here. Sure a is. A little chippy down there is opportunities and maybe a little frustration there as uh, Canfield not able to punch it in on their power play. It's 3 nothing. Chagrin Falls, 2.57 left here in the first period as we face off. That was a really Chagrin fall zone. That was a really good kill by, uh, by the Chagrin yeah. Falls there. And they had some shots, but like you said, they just didn't make it. Uh, through. Talk about Canfield. Canfield, yep. yeah. Canfield had some good shots on goal, and the defense yeah. of Chagrin Falls. Did, I mean, Canfield did everything he wanted to do in a power play. Consi consistent pressure, just couldn't get the uh, puck between the pipes there. And Ranieri had it. And again, we're seeing back to the back to the formula that's working for Chagrin Falls, just constant pressure attack on the, on the Canfield defense and the goalie. Really, really al not allowing Canfield to clear or breathe, really, uh, in the defensive end. There's just over two minutes left, about 2.21 left in the first period. Canfield on the attack. Yeah, and That's they've- Scaleri here on the, on the left-hand side. Oh, oh, big hit here, big hit. Man. Big hit there. Tommy Conway not messing yep. around there. Conway, a junior defenseman for Chagrin Falls, came up with a nice, solid hit. Ranieri with a good pass over to Bunker. Bunker unable to handle it, but he does think it, do it. He is able to control it. Crossing pass went a little bit wide and out of the zone. 150 left here in the first period. See if Canfield can regroup. They're going to send it down, change some lines, take the icing, and uh, live to fight another 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 face off there. Yep, 142 left here in the first period. Three nothing. Chagrin falls in this first of three games here at the Baron Cup. In Brooklyn. This is Baron Cup three. Yep, the blue division. Championship Sunday, as we call it here from the Brooklyn Rec Center. Always a fun day here for the 50th Baron Cup. Shot and a save. It went a little bit wide left. Also falls on Valentine's Day. That's right. So happy Valentine's Day to those. Who are watching, who are on watching our Facebook Live. Or spending their Valentine's Day watching high school hockey at its best here, the Baron Cup. That's right. Nothing else they'd rather do than I mean watch some good 
High school hockey here. Championship hockey, Exactly. Something on the line here. Chagrin, yep. Chagrin Falls trying to trying to clear out from their own defensive zone here. Yeah. One minute left in the opening period Ooh. here. Rostick wow, with big a hit. solid hit as yeah. Alex Newton went down and he got back up. Chagrin Falls kept it. There's a shot. Or actually, it's over in the corner now. Canfield clears it all the way back down with 44 seconds left. Nice job by Brian Wolk there. Oh, boy. Yeah, and Newton got tangled up, and there's going to be a penalty here. Wolk and Newton, uh, let's see, see, see who the recipient of this penalty is going to be. Yeah, it looked like they just got tangled up in that corner. But they're going to call a penalty, and this is going to go against Alex Newton of Chagrin Falls. So he'll go into the penalty box two minutes, and this will go into the second period. 35 seconds left here in the first period. So Canfield, another opportunity. That's a holding penalty on Alex Newton there. So Canfield's going to be on the power play again uh, to wrap up this first period unless they were able to score. Yeah, 20 seconds left. They'll have to get their offense, but very slow moving here. Well, there, you know, what I'm noticing here, and we can talk a little bit about this more in the intermission, there's, just, there's not a whole lot of spacing going on from the yeah. Canfield end. Neutral zone area. Fire it back into Chagrin Falls. They'll hold on to it, and that will be the end of the first period. So 125 left in the power play going into the second period, and a great first period for Chagrin Falls, who leads 3-0, guys. And, you know, give credit to Charlie Gunn, the goaltender as well for Chagrin Falls. Some really good saves. Really, both, both teams had some good saves, but Charlie Gunn right now pitching a shutout going into the second period. Charlie Gunn had uh, nine saves by my count in the first wow. period, and uh, Corey Narr, not too bad himself. He had, uh, let's see, he had five saves in the first period. Very impressive. So there'll be about 12 minutes on the clock. So we'll get to see the Zamboni roll through, and we'll step away. We'll get some water. And <laughs> it wet the whistle a little bit, and... Uh, and uh, we'll be right back. We're Sports on Tap. Thanks for watching right here on Facebook Live. Real quick. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Sports on Tap. It's our live stream here on Facebook Live. Want to welcome everybody back. We are out of intermission now. That's yeah, true. Have, so let me... I'll get rid of that graphic here. Just about to go back to second period action uh, in are. the Barron Cup 3 where Chagrin Falls holds a 3-0 lead over Canfield. And you got to figure, Ed, going in there, Canfield's got to figure some way to stop the consistent Tiger pressure in their own zone. Oh, uh, they do. They got to be able to. They got to be able to clear out rebounds. Um, they also need to support their own offensive effort on the on the offensive end. You know, we saw a lot of uh, one shot and outs yep. from the from from Canfield there. Uh, we'll quickly recap the scoring before the second the second uh, period starts. Chagrin Falls scoring started with about 13 minutes left in the first period by uh, a goal by Tyler Bookman, assisted by Jace Roman, and then Garen Bunker scored at 11:41 unassisted. And the Chase Lowry scored off an assist of, by Tyler Bookman at 6:57 left in the first period, and it looks like we are good. We are, we're back. We're back in action, and we're going. Uh, Canfield will be going left to right. Chagrin Falls will be going right to left. And there's a shot right away on goal by Canfield there. And, Gun. and it was cleared. Remember, uh, Canfield is on the power play. From the, oh, uh, right. there was a four, there was a holding penalty on Alex Newton uh, at the end of the first period. So right now they are just under 45 seconds left in the power play, and Canfield uh, has not spent a whole lot of time in their offensive zone during this. Yeah, you're right, Ed. You know, I forgot about that power play. With it's at 40 seconds right now into the second period, but they had to track the puck down. There's a shot and a save. What a save there, Charlie Gunn. Charlie Gunn with a save. Pops it up over the, pops it up over the net there, and looks like Bunker's looking for a penalty there. He's not going to get it. Trying to go for the shorthanded goal. 
And Tyler Christie up along the board now for Canfield as he dumps it down and tries to chase it, his own pass in that corner, and he does. Centering pass, nobody there, and it's cleared as five seconds left in this power play, and Chagrin Falls is going to be back at full strength here. Scaleri not able to negotiate that uh, the Chagrin Falls defense. Oh, here's an opportunity for Chagrin Falls on the right side, a shot that's blocked. Good Plus defense the, there. Plus by the defenseman, didn't even get the, didn't even get the NAR there. So a good opportunity for Chagrin Falls. That was Henry Westendorf coming right out of, right out, still in the neutral zone uh, as Newton was getting out of the penalty box. Uh, great save by NAR. Yeah, that was, comes right out. There's a shot that went wide. As Canfield trying to get it out of their zone here. Physicality is starting to pick up a little bit here in the second period. Uh, yeah. You can definitely sense the urgency on Canfield. They do not want to give up a goal and go down four goals here. They need to, they need to cut into this lead pretty quickly. So 12.40 left here in the second period. It's 3-0 Chagrin Falls as Canfield was on a power play early on, but Chagrin Falls able to, to come back to full strength. And here comes Canfield now on the right side. Ooh, great defense there. Just getting enough of the just getting in the way, just enough to deflect that puck away from the goal and the centering pass. Looks like that was uh, that was Volk there. Another shot on goal. Save by Nar. Yeah, great save there. As we talked about in the first period, Chagrin Falls is giving themselves additional opportunities after that one timer. It's almost as if the one timer is setting everything else up, getting oh. it into the zone, getting something into the into the crease and forcing it. Ryan Janik. Oh. It's not on Ryan Janik there. It's actually, is that 33? Is that Dredge? Shagrin falls now on the power play. Interference by Eli Dredge there, giving uh, a man advantage to Chagrin Falls for two minutes here. Dangerous, dangerous time for Canfield right now. It is because uh, I mean, Chagrin Falls, uh, up to this point, has not needed uh, any help in the way of the uh, of a penalty to score three goals. So we'll see if Canfield can stay aggressive here, maybe pick up a shorthanded goal. And yeah, Chagrin Falls, uh, two for two in in power plays, uh, able to or Canfield 0 for two in power power play situations. Now we'll see what Chagrin Falls can do. 11:40 here in the second period. This is where the. Um, in hockey, they, these are called the special teams in hockey with the penalty unit and the penalty kill. Yep. And Chagrin falls right now at the point. Canfield's done a very good job in making Ooh, sure that Chagrin that Falls has not been able to get into their sets here. And, that's, and now it looks like they're finally going to get a, chat, get a chance to, to settle in here. There's a shot that was deflected away. And, you know, those, can, those are dangerous shots because they could be deflected and and tough to see. One yep. minute left in the power play now for Chagrin Falls. Canfield's got to survive another a minute here. Ranieri and Bookman, both were shots that were not able, that, that were unable to, to cash in there. Canfield's done a really good job up to this point with this penalty kill so far. You mentioned in the first period, Ed, their spacing was a little bit off. They seem to have cleaned that up a bit, but at least in this penalty kill, allowing the allowing the space, but not allowing them, you know, penetration near the crease. There's a good luck, a follow-up shot, oh, up and over. Close, close, close. And that was Garen Bunker with a shot in front of the goal that just went up and over the net. Nar, fantastic happy defense and goaltending there. He's Nar. happy it's not <laughs> out of the zone. Nar's got six saves already this period. Holy cow! Unofficial. And official. Yeah, 13 on the power play. Canfield, can yes. they kill this power play? Maneri down the side, finds Bunker. Oh! Yeah, there it is. Tiger With goal. Five seconds left in the power play, and they get it done. Four nothing, Chagrin Falls here in the Baron Cup three championship. Was that, was that an own goal? Do you know what, it looked like a Canfield player actually might have. We'll have to look at the replay on that. I want to thank everyone for watching our live stream here on Facebook. Live or sports on tap. I'm Rob Traman. Sean Duffy at Dick here. 
Jeff Troutman on camera. Josh Jeffy out on assignment right now. He's the fourth member of this crew, or fifth, fourth, fifth member. We have five. We're, we're adding to our yeah, we're to our team here. Keep adding. That goal was scored by Jace Roman at the 10-10 mark in the second period, assisted by Garen Bunker. Now both teams are back to full strength with the power play goal. Canfield now with a few shots. There's a backhand and it's Rostek trying to get it in there. Blocked away by Gunn, goaltender for Chagrin Falls. Canfield has to get some kind of scoring going on here. Trailing 4 0, and uh oh, here's Chagrin Stolen. Falls back. One on one shot. Oh, oh he poked what away. A great job by West Nar on that. And Westendorf for Chagrin Falls had him faked, but lost the puck. Canfield's got the advantage now. Shot, goal Brian by Canfield! Wolf puts it in. And Canfield's on the board at 9.13 in the second period. And the scoring has heated this second period up. One by each team now. What a great job by Canfield, both on NAR for the stop and then able to get the turnover and cashing in on the three to one breakaway they had there. And that's a pretty big goal because Canfield who was down four nothing now gets a goal and all of a sudden they're right back in it with nine 11 left in the second period. That's a big time goal to get back into this. Ryan Woke with the goal at the 19, 9 13 mark left in the period assisted by Tyler Christie. And Chagrin falls right back in their offensive zone. Try to centering pass, didn't make it there. And now it's Bunker. A pass and a save. What a great save by Nar and goal there. As 8.49 left in the second period and Chagrin falls bringing the heat on offense again. Yeah, Conway, Conway had, the nice, had the nice setup there from Bunker. So now we have a face off. One by Canfield there. Shot by Wolk, now it's gonna Woke back on the offense here. And they're on sides, now on the left wing. Looking for that centering pass, unable to get it out, and a good defense by Chagrin falls to knock it away. That was Conway up back there. Well, frenzy of scoring here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> trying to keep up, sorry, I uh, was trying to keep up on Twitter to make sure those who cannot view yeah. Our Facebook Live are at least being kept abreast of a, what is turning into a pretty good game right now. I mean, we're we're back to where we kind of started in the beginning of the period. Uh, Chagrin Falls holding a three-goal lead, but, you know, Canfield not going quietly here. They are they are definitely uh, trying to make uh, uh, up some ground so they're not going into the third period down three goals. Yeah, we'll see what they can do here. The puck's staying in the neutral zone area. I think you're seeing, too, both teams have adjusted to the speed of the game right now. Um, you know, Canfield has been a lot more aggressive, and and they were able they were able to punch in their opportunity um, on that last on, the, on their last goal. Um, Woke had a, had a tremendous effort, and I thought he was going to pass it because he had a couple of guys open, but he, he cut across the ice and was able to to get uh, to get gun off his mark. And now here's Canfield tracking it down in their own zone, and Chagrin falls. Right on their tail. <laughs> yeah, Matt Scalari chased it down for Canfield. There's a crossing pass that gets to score Larry, and then he lost it in the Canfield offensive zone here. And Dupre was uh, Dupre was hounding him on that. 7:20 left here in the second period in the Baron Cup three final. Puck, puck is uh, the puck is spending a little bit more time in the can in the uh, Canfield offensive zone here. Uh, which is exactly what they need here. Absolutely right, Ed. And here comes Chagrin Falls now. Onside all the way. Good defense to tap it away, but they got it right back, and that's Bookman. And a shot. Nice. And a shot nice body. save. Wow. Great shot, though, from that point. Nar with the save from uh, from Dupre there, it looked like. Yeah. 6.51 left in the second period. We're gonna have a face-off in the uh, Canfield defensive zone here. The Canfield faithful trying to get their team back in this. Trailing four to one. 
Shot right off the wow. face off and another great Damn. save. Kicked aside. And Bunker had a real good shot at that. And Woke, Woke's going to be at it again. He's got a one-on-one -on -one situation. Centering pass. Oh. A shot, and he's taken down. Oh, man. Rothschild couldn't handle it, unfortunately. And cleared out of the zone. Yeah, good opportunity there. And Chagrin Falls now trying to chase Lowry. Getting taken back down by Woke. Canfield definitely a little more aggressive here in this period. Well, as Ed, as Ed astutely appointed, they, both teams have really adjusted to the speed of the game, and now they're just trying to run their offense and, and play as good a defense as possible with both these teams just adding to the pressure in the corresponding zones. We got under six minutes left here in the second period. Four to one, Chagrin Falls leads. I wonder, um, I'm wondering how much gas is going to be left in the tank of both Woke and, uh, and Ross Tech here yeah. in the third period because they've been they've been all over the place here in the second period and you know, both on the offensive and defensive ends. So they're getting a well-deserved break right now. So Canfield dumps it into the Chagrin Fall zone and back of the net now as they team up to try to keep it into that zone. Along the boards here, near side. Antonio Moron over there. Fight for the puck. And a shot. Oh, just the Just flooded. lost it. Still kept in the zone, though. Nice job as it's thrown back in. Canfield really fighting to try to draw a little bit closer. A centering pass. Is anybody Nobody home? There. Nobody there. But there's a shot. Locked away by Gunn and set aside. And here comes Chagrin Falls alongside the boards. Now neutral zone area, dumped Ty in. Tyler Christie had a look there from the, from, the, from the middle of the ice. Bookman for Chagrin Falls trying to chase it down and unable to is shot. Step. A, a clearing pass uh, knocked on the side by, uh, by Nara there. We've seen some pretty solid hits here. Yeah, it's getting physical now. 440 left here in the second period. Shot and a glove save. Wow, yeah. good save. By Charlie Gunn. Fantastic save. And Woke, uh, Woak, off, just coming off from a very short break. Takes a good look at it. 437 left here in the second period. Four to one, Chagrin Falls. Thanks everybody for watching here on our Facebook Live. We're Sports on Tap. Rob Troutman, Sean Duffy, Ed Dick, Jeff Troutman here with you from the Brooklyn Rec Center here in Brooklyn, Ohio. A classic place to watch some good high school hockey. For the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League, and it's been a great year so far. There's a shot high and wide. As Chagrin Falls will chase it down. And there's a crossing pass. Who's going to get to it first? And that looks like it's going to be. Oh, it's Tyler Carney. Yeah. For Canfield. And looks like we're going to have, a, we have an icing call. Carney, a defenseman. He's only a sophomore. So you look on both these rosters, there's a mix of all kinds of different players. You see a lot of freshmen and sophomores playing. Kind of fun to see a good mix. Now we have a face-off here. One by Bunker. Bunker of Chagrin, Chagrin Falls. Falls. Yep. Puck's going around the corner there, Scaleri. Oh, they kept it in. Nice job to keep that in, but Canfield now takes the puck and is looking to set it up. It's Rostick. Nice centering pass in the neutral zone area and dumped in. Dredge uh, pops it into the Chagrin Falls defensive area. Dredge has been pretty active too. Him and Rostick trying to get their team back into it. Here comes Chagrin Falls, one on four, they and they'll bunker. set it up. Lowry pops it mm. over the goal for Nor for, for over Nar's head. Rostick chases it down. Try to the centering pass, and it was tipped and. Loose puck. You never know what's going to happen when the puck goes in the air like that. It bounces <laughs> yeah. around like a football, you know? And here, oh, and there's That's, a penalty yeah. that can't field. It's going to be a big one. And that looked like tripping. Yeah. 
2.58 left in the second period. So for the majority of this period, Canfield's going to have a big opportunity here. Man in advantage. Here we go. Cut the lead. Let's see if they can cut the lead in half. So that's Conway for tripping. So Chagrin Falls now has to try and kill this penalty. This will be their third attempt at a penalty kill today. Yeah. And they've done it so far. Can they do it again? There's a shot on goal Whoa. and a nice save by Gunn. <laughs> wow. It went through it. He had a nice clear shot. A nice shot by Woak there. Oh, it was Woak or Woak. Yeah, it's W-O-A-K. I don't know if it's woke until someone tries. Yeah, if somebody, somebody out there has pronunciations, we do not have dredge. Dredge with another shot. Dredge knocks it out. Uh, dredge with a shot, saved by Gunn into the netting. So here there'll be a face-off in the neutral zone area. Canfield on a power play. 135 left here on the power play. 230 left in the period. We're in the second period. You don't know how many more of the these opportunities are going to happen um, yeah. for a penalty here. So you, if you're Canfield, you got to cash in on this, especially right before the end of the second period. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It would be it would be huge to cut the goal deficit going into the third period. Now at the point, yeah, well, Scalari at the point. Canfield not really moving around too much. They're uh, kind yeah. of they're, unless they're just they're setting up their setting up their spot here. There's a. Off the post. Christie at the shot there. Ross Tech in the Ross Tech in the in the in the corner. Trying a centering pass there. Oh, oh they wow. lost, lost it. Control. All the way back. 50 seconds left on the power play. As they track it down and and look to get get it set up again. Crossing pass. He skates it. Sock centering oh, pass. Missed it. Missed. Just missed it. Right idea though there for Canfield. They yeah, set yeah. up along the boards. Another centering pass. It's going to go all the way to the left. I'm not a genius. Wing. There you go. Ross Tech's kind of settling in the middle there, trying to create some sort of interference for the goalie. Centering pass. It went wide. Follow up shot by oh. Gunn is blocked. There's 13 on the power play. Can they get it out? That was Christy. And it's clear. Wow. Christy was one of those another shots impressive, as well. Another impressive penalty kill by Chagrin Falls. Yeah, Canfield now 0 for 3, although, oh, they almost caught him sleeping. Yeah, they might be offsides. Oh, offsides. Offside. 54 seconds left here in the period. Offside penalty there on, or not penalty. Offside on Canfield's and to bring it down all the way back to the defensive zone here. 54 seconds left in the second period. It is Chagrin Falls four, Canfield one in Baron Cup three, in the Baron Cup three uh, championship game. And we have a face off now. One by Chagrin Falls. Oh, he lost oh. it. But he was it offsides. Offside. Yep, offside on Falls. He's gonna move the puck to. Neutral zone. Oh, there's a face off and Christie comes away for Canfield. Still has it along the boards. And then dumps it down into Chagrin Falls. See, there's there's four guys for Canfield in that same exact area. Yeah. There. You know, I, I, so I'm wondering if that's something that, you know. Yeah, spacing wise, you'd like probably not all to be in one area, but Too. Sometimes with the line changes, they all get come out and are in one area. <laughs> the puck, yeah. puck is right there, but certainly, certainly that's. But you know. like you said, it got it. It's better to be spread out and set up a good offense here, and they'll be and have the line change now. 27 seconds here in the second period. It's four to one. Chagrin Falls leads. There's a backhand, not making it. Oh, they got. Some numbers. Here comes Canfield with 20 seconds. Wokes, take it. Wokes all the way up. Nice centering pass. Didn't make it there. Dredge is in the middle there. He's not able to get, get a handle of it either. 
10 seconds left in the period. Can they get another shot? Oh, a centering pass that didn't make it. Oh, Four just... seconds. They're going to dump it in, and that's uh, going to be the end of the second period. Or no, they. Now it there is. It there is. is. <laughs> yeah, that was an impressive, uh, uh, you know, an impressive period there for, for not only Chagrin Falls to kind of continue their lead, but also Canfield to, to get a goal there. You'd like to have seen them get a goal in that period, uh, in that power play towards the end of the second period, but unfortunately they weren't able to do it. You know, hats off to Chagrin Falls and their penalty kill unit. Uh, they were able to kill that off and, and really take a three goal lead going into the intermission. And now Canfield's got work to do. Uh, they have to they have to make up a three goal deficit to tie this up, otherwise they could say goodbye to the Baron Cup three championship. Uh, shots on goal, according to the uh, according to the announcer, was uh, 12 shots on goal for Canfield that did result in one goal, and eight shots on goal for Chagrin Falls, which also resulted in a goal. Um, Chagrin Falls was able to cash in on uh, was able to cash in on their power play opportunity. Uh, that goal was scored by Chase Roman, assisted by. Uh, Garen Bunker, that was with 10-10 left in the period. And then uh, then not more than a minute, just less than a minute later, Brian Woke uh, scored for Canfield. That goal was assisted by Tyler Christie. And that's where we are now, 4-1 to one in favor of Chagrin Falls going into uh, the third period uh, of the Baron Cup 3 championship. Um, you know, guys, we saw a little bit more a lot more aggressiveness from, from the Canfield side of things. And uh, they were able to cash in on the opportunity when they had it. Absolutely. And, and you know, uh, obviously they probably would have liked, as I mentioned earlier, they would have they needed to convert that final power play into a goal there and, you know, to, to at least cut the, the lead in half going into the third period. Now they're back kind of where they started going into the second period. They're down three goals. They got they, they, they seemed a bit more aggressive. Chagrin Falls was able to match that aggressiveness, and that is something that I think is going to play, pay dividends for Chagrin Falls. Is as long as you can match their intensity, they seem Chagrin Falls seems to be able to control the zone better, and, and like you mentioned, really space it out and allow that you know that pressure to kind of be constant and from everywhere. I think an opportunity for Canfield as well is I think they need a. I, we talk about spacing, and I've mentioned we've mentioned that we've talked about that a little bit in, in, over the course of the of the, of the contest. But I think they need to muck up the middle over by the goal a little yeah. bit more. I mean, especially, um, you know, with some of those power play opportunities, you, you, you spread the puck around. You want to get the you want to get the defenders moving in one direction so you can have a quick strike. Um, you know, but I haven't noticed a whole lot of opportunities where one of their guys is just in the middle sitting, waiting for a rebound, yeah. maybe just to redirect, redirect the Charlie redirect Gun the shot. Yeah, Charlie Guns had a pretty clear vision of the zone any time Canfield's down in there and that's one and I mean hats off to the defense you know set up there too as well you know they're not allowing someone to camp down there right in front of the goalie and, and wait for that rebound shot whereas on the opposite end you know Nars having to pick his way through some Chagrin Falls defenders who are mucking up that center and allowing for those second chance those rebounds to come in and we can even say on the goal that they, there was a lot of traffic there and that they were able to just punch it right in and you know whereas on the flip side, Chagrin Falls is able to clear that out and at least make them re, you know, readjust and attack again. Exactly, exactly. The, the, the Canfield goal was, uh, you know, was a relative. It was a breakaway um, where it was an advantage. It was an advantage situation, which they did a tremendous job scoring on. Yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and step away here for a few minutes. Allow the Zamboni man to do his job. Uh, we cannot thank you guys enough for watching the Baron Cup Three Finals. We on our Facebook page. We will have Baron Cup 2 and Baron Cup 1 finals live on Facebook on our Facebook page. Thank you again for, lis for listening and watching and at watching. the same time. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and step away and uh, we'll catch you when the third period begins. Or one, sorry. Uh, quickly recap the scoring in the last period. It was um, it was Jace Roman scoring on an assist from Garrett Bunker on a power play opportunity with 10-10 left in the second period. That pushed the lead to four to nothing. Canfield answered just under a minute later on a goal by Brian Woke, assisted by Tyler Christie. Uh, to get us to where we are now, it is four to one in favor of Chagrin Falls. Um, you know, so we'll, see, we'll see what Canfield has left in the tank here, see if they're gonna be able to, to 
you know, to put a dent in this lead and for Chagrin Falls, I think they're going to stay aggressive. Uh, I don't think they're going to play. I don't think nope. they're going to change what they're doing here. Absolutely not. And, I, and, and, I, and if I'm coaching them, I wouldn't. Continue doing everything what, you're, what you've been doing. It's been successful. You've done everything you needed to do. Now you need to just take this on home uh, and not allow Canfield to get a sliver of hope. Unfortunately, uh, this is where your football coach would tell you you got your foot on their neck. Keep your foot on their neck. Don't let them get up. Absolutely. So Canfield's going right to left. On your screen, uh, they are, have black uniforms with red numbers and white trim. Chagrin Falls will be going left to right. They have gray uniforms with orange tops and black numbers. On the flip side, if I'm Canfield, it's it's now or never. And, and every opportunity, every minute that goes by without a score creates, an, creates more and more pressure on this team. And I think what you're going to see is Canfield take some more chances and, and be more aggressive than they have been. I think they kind of laid back in the first period, and that allowed, you know, Chagrin Falls to take advantage. Second period, they were a lot more aggressive, uh, which controlled Chagrin Falls' aggressive, you know, pressure, but, you know, didn't lead to a lot of goals. And, and I think now you're going to see Canfield on a breakaway here. This is Woke. He oh, puts it in. goal. Fantastic. Ryan Woke, his second goal wow. on, a, on a breakaway at the left side. Slides a pass, gone. Cuts this lead in half. It is four, well, not in half. Cuts the lead from four to one to four to two. Yeah, that's a big goal there on a breakaway. Took advantage and right away, 13-49 in the third period. It's four to two now. So a big goal there. Drew Rostick with the assist. That is exactly what Canfield needed. And here they come right back, That's back uh, in their offensive zone. Woke puts, puts it in. Gunn with the save. Knocks it back to Rostick. Shot and saved by Gunn, by Christie. Christie with another shot. Almost deflected in by Woke. Woke in, uh, getting, the, getting the rough end of the business there. <laughs> that looks, man, Dupree kind of, kind of got away with one there. He's holding Dredge's stick. <laughs> we obviously have a little bit of a better shot at that than the, uh, than the refs do there, but got an icing call on Chagrin Falls. Going to bring it back to their defensive end here. 13 minutes left. In, Baron, in the third period of Barron Cup three, four to two, Chagrin Falls over Canfield. Canfield has been decidedly aggress more aggressive yep. so far. Absolutely. Exactly what you talked about, Sean. And and you really see maybe Chagrin Falls is taking this oh. opportunity. That was a close. Th that was a close one there. Uh, is is maybe coming out a little not as aggressive as they were. But again, you had a three goal lead. Now you need to be aggressive. If you're Chagrin Falls, play what you've been doing. Keep 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 that pressure on them and don't allow Canfield to get in, into a rhythm. And what's happening now is Canfield is throwing everything at them, including the kitchen sink at a certain point. And it's getting physical, and that's exactly what Canfield needs right now because they need to bring this lead down even more to have a shot at winning this game. And we talked about a little earlier in, in the break that um, you know, Canfield really hadn't been ha having him camp out in the middle of the goal. Uh, that last, the last such, their last uh, action down here, William Epp was right in front of the goal yeah. and had a real good shot. At it. Gunn was yeah. able to flick it uh, to the side of the goal. So Gunn had to work a little harder than he had to in the second period uh, to, to really have a clear, a clear line of vision on what's going on in, in his own zone with his defense. And you know in that case it wasn't. He had to, he had to work around. So again, adjustments, constant adjustments being made. And Canfield is just being ultra aggressive right now, which is fantastic for them. Oh, Ooh, that was close. That Woke. was a close one. Woke coming around the corner, trying to find Drudge in the middle. Woke is a man on a mission right now. He is. He's skating hard. He's making crisp passes. He's doing a fantastic job, and he's leading this team back and giving them hope. Woke is one of the seniors on the team. Ooh. Woke up from the round corner. Nope, nope. The puck digging is, at it. The puck, digging is, at the puck it. is just kind of sitting there in purgatory right in front <laughs> of the goal. Nobody wanted that shot. Man, Gunn, is, Gunn has been... Uh, He's been very, he's been targeted a lot in yeah. this period, <laughs> and this is just just three and a half minutes into the period so far. 
but do you see that sense of urgency, Ed? You see that with Canfield. Every time they get the puck, they're attacking. Absolutely. They're not laying back. They're not trying to do anything more than get down the end of the zone and, and put a shot on goal. Bookman goes wide right for Chagrin Falls. Woke, another oh, shot. He he Patrick for Woke. Whoa, we got a game, boys and girls. 4-3, Canfield, or Chagrin Falls. Sean's getting a little excited wow, that at was the great. 11 that was great. mark. And that Chagrin is... Falls wanted a penalty that he ran oh. into the goaltender. That's why it went um, through, but I'll tell you what. I think, I don't, I don't know if you can really take this one away. Yeah, That's a goal. Brian Woke is on fire right now. So with 11.08 left in the third period, it's now a 4-3 to three game. And how, just how important, Ed, was that goal, you know, in the second period to cut them a little bit closer? Rostick with his second assist to Woke in the third period. Boy, this is, uh, this game is taking quite the turn. Oh! And, and there's a goal! Oh! Chagrin, Chagrin Falls, Falls now answers. Tyler Bookman answers 20 seconds later. Wow. So with 10.48 now, hopefully Sean's fingers I mean, they're, can they're... keep up with the scoring. 5-3 Chagrin Falls, 10.48 left here in the third period. Chase Roman with the assist on that one. That is Roman's second assist, Bookman's second goal. Chagrin Falls takes 20 seconds to answer Woke's third goal, his hat trick, and his five to three with just with 10 minutes and 30 seconds left in the third period. Well, there's a steal, a centering pass that's broken up. Nice job by Chagrin Falls as a centering pass in the neutral zone. Now, oh, they had almost a breakaway. Great defensive play by Canfield there. Bunker put the brakes down on that uh, Canfield attack. Chagrin Falls has not been able to get any sort of rhythm in this period uh, up until that last goal that they just scored. Canfield's been the aggressor. They've been able to get to their spots. More specifically, Brian Wilkes has been able to do whatever, the, whatever he's wanted to do in this period. <laughs> Oh, oh, turf oh, there's monster. a turnover. Well, it's not the turf monster, I guess. I guess the ice monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Zamboni guy missed a spot down there. Yeah, clearly. Chase Roman <laughs> wanted to try track it down, but it was icing. Just kidding, Zamboni guy. You do a great job. <laughs> I want your job, though. So with 9.48 left here in the third period, still plenty of time left. It's 5-3, Chagrin Falls, and what has been an absolute great game. Woke wins the faceoff for Canfield, back to Scolari. Scolari trying to get the Rostick. Rostick R shoots it around the corner. Woke gonna be fighting against, he's fighting with uh, Alex Newton there. Newton's able to clear. Boy, Canfield's playing with a purpose this period. Yep, pushing the issue. A we'll lot, lot of speed coming up the ice right now and, with uh, Canfield. They are not. They're not stopping in the, in the neutral zone at all. They are, they are not looking to pass. It's it's whoever has the puck is attacking, and I think that's something that is really really kind of taking Chagrin Falls by surprise here. Well, Chagrin Falls showed some tremendous resolve yeah. getting, that, getting that quick goal back uh, after Woke seemingly turned the momentum all the way to all the way to Canfield. There, shot saved by uh, by Nair. Nair, sorry. I want to thank everyone list or watching, watching on our Facebook, Facebook Live. <laughs> We're Sports on Tap. Rob Troutman, Ed Dick, Sean Duffy here with you. Jeff Troutman running camera, doing a great job for us at Center Ice. Barron Cup 3 championship, the Blue Division. It's Chagrin Falls leading 5-3 with 8.45 left here in the third and final period. Let me tell you, if this is any indication of how the rest of the championship games are going to go, I am pumped for the rest of the day. Two more games, and here comes Canfield. Looks like that's Dredge. Oh, boarded up. Boarded up there. Still in Canfield the zone, Canfield just though. refusing to let that puck get cleared. 
doing everything they can to stay keep that puck in the in the scoring oh, zone. Oh, oh here we Wolk. go. Here's Woke. Another wow. shot brushed aside. He's already got a hat trick on the day, looking to add to it. That's good defense. Uh, before Woke got it, Charlie Simperman had some pretty good defense for Sugar and Falls there as well on Dredge. Woke's gonna go take a. Woke's gonna get a little bit of a rest here, along with Rostick. And as uh, Chagrin Falls resets. Eight minutes left in the game here, and uh, Chagrin Falls is going to look to continue to keep their pressure, but Canfield is on a mission with Woke and Rostek off the ice right now, but i got to imagine they're not going to stay off the ice very long with the, with the way the Woke's playing right now. You know, Charles, uh, Garen Bunker has been, uh, has been uh, between Bunker and, and Tyler Bookman, those two have been, uh, you know, you know, and, and Chase Roman, those three have been, um, you know, they've, they've been stuffing the stat sheet yeah. uh, quite efficiently here. They've been controlling the game for the most part um, up until this period. Well, I mean, they're, they're seniors, they're captains, and, and they're doing a great job, especially Garen Bunker, Chase Lowry. You know, Bookman is a senior as well. Yeah. I mean, this is a great team, and, and you can see Chagrin's a well-coached team, and so is Canfield. And what we're seeing is, two, like we said, the two of the best in the blue division right now going at it for a chance to win the Baron Cup. That, what more could you ask? Bookman going to do the face-off here for Chagrin Falls. And it looks like uh, Bataglia. Bataglia for Canfield as Chagrin Falls wins the face-off. But it's still kept in the sh and finally cleared as Canfield. Outlet pass to Roman. Now neutral zone area is just trying to get something set up. With 7.14 left here in the third period, Chagrin holds a 5-3 lead. Game That's one of our triple header here today on Facebook Live, Sports on Tap. There's a nice move in back of the net, a centering oh, pass. They had Roman there, Roman, just a little bit of wider Roman. And now it's Simperman pass along the boards. A centering pass, a shot, a save, and then a goal! Oh, Bookman, he has got the hat trick as Bookman well. Bookman with a hat trick again. We got two hat tricks in the first game. And that was a follow-up. He followed his own shot. Yeah, because originally it looked like Nar blocked it. And a follow-up at 643 in the third period. Now it's a six to three. Chagrin falls lead. Bookman with an absolute great game so far. You said he had a hat trick, right, Ed? Bookman so. does have a hat trick. On the assist was uh, both um, Batiste Dupre and Charlie Simperman. Both get credit for the assist on that. Championship-like performance. Absolutely. Two hat tricks in, in the same game here, folks. And... Uh, Tell you what, Chagrin Falls has shown some tremendous resolve in the face of uh, what, what Canfield has been throwing out in this period. So now six minutes left here in the third period. Does Canfield have another run in him? Chase Lowry getting caught up there. Yeah, Canfield's gonna have to, they're gonna have to come quick. Oh, nice move there. Like Bunker. Bunker, yeah, he's, he's very smooth with that puck on the left wing now. Now near side board. A lively crowd here from the Brooklyn oh. Rec Center. And a solid wow. a hit, no call. No and call there, and the fans here are not yeah. happy with that no call. Rostick, Rostick down in the corner here. A pass, shot, didn't make it. Nope. And Looks like that's Dredge. Yep. Dredge, Dredge being Rostick being along the boards for Canfield. Being defended by Westendorf. Woke, Woke's having a battle there with. It looks like. Looks like with Conway. Yep. Oh. A shot just wide. Rustic a centering pass, a shot. He couldn't get it off. Wow, great and save. Gun yeah. covers great save. Up. Fantastic job by Gunn. 
and Rustic had the right idea. Nice centering pass. Yep. And it looked like it was Conway who had a chance for a shot. Couldn't get it a good enough solid shot there, and Gunn covered it up wisely, as we have now a timeout. And with five minutes left to go in the third period, you wonder what the strategy is now for Canfield. They've got to get some goals. Do they pull their goalie now? Uh, I think, I don't know. we got five minutes left. They're probably going to have to do it pretty soon if you're down yeah. three goals, but maybe not quite yet. Well, See if they have a, a run here. I oh. think the danger in that is just the way that Chagrin Falls has played all game. And they're able to clear and able to get pressure in the zone and without a goalie there. I mean, hats off to Nar. He's given up six, but a lot of that had to do with the fact that he's, it's the second chance rebounds that Chagrin Falls has gotten. Uh, Woke uh, Woke was given uh, giving Gun a couple more a uh, couple more shots and a couple more things to think about there. Gun Gun rose to the challenge there. Two hat tricks in the first game. Whew. This is uh this reminds me of uh, last week of last year's Baron Cup Championship Baron Cup Three Championship. That was between Normandy and Orange. Uh, Orange had been, uh, you know, I don't want to say dominating, but they had played very well in the first two periods. Normandy stormed back mm -hmm. uh, before Orange was able to kind of to, to finish them off. And you know, we're kind of we're seeing a very similar thing uh, situation play out here. All right, under five minutes to go left in the third period. Canfield needs something to happen here quickly. Otherwise, Chagrin Falls is going to salt this away and get their Baron Cup championship. It'll be their first championship since 2008. It'll be their second championship overall. Canfield still looking for their first Baron Cup championship. Ooh, that was dangerous there. Chase Roman and here throws comes. it in there. Oh, what a move. And oh, he couldn't geez. get there. He's tripped up. Man. And he, but he's still, what great puck. We're going to get the Oh, wow. Ryan Wolf earned that goal. Wow, My his fourth God. goal. Holy moly. It looked like he was taken down. He stayed with the puck. What a great job. He ran over Reed Dowling. Jeez. That's crazy. That he, and that just shows you how persistence pays off. Got tripped up, stayed with the puck, and still scored. Unbelievable. It's 6-4 now. 4-25. Left here in the third period. Bunker wins the Bunker wins the faceoff. He's trying to trying to answer right back. And Chagrin Falls, every time Canfield has a good goal, they do answer. Now Canfield with the puck. Do they have another run here with four minutes left in the third period? I'm not sure Woke can sit for the rest of the game at this point. Yeah, I'd agree. Oh! A shot off the mask. Jesus. That had a little velocity. Canfield in the zone now. At the point, they try to get it to Rostick in the corner there. And back of the goal, he's met. And now, Rostick getting the... Uh, Ranieri with it for Chagrin Falls, and he lost it, turned it over in his own zone. Dredge poking it away right before they can get a, get, get a good breakaway there. Scalari back. So can't feel the neutral zone area. Now on the right wing at Tyler, the point. Tyler Christie. A centering pass didn't make oh, it there. Here we go. We got a breakaway. That's Garen Bunker. One on one with Nar. And Nar comes up with the wow, save. Wow, good save. Wow. Fantastic save by Nar. Bunker knocked the goal off a little bit there, too. That was I'm, a golden opportunity for yeah. Chagrin Falls. So with 3.14 left in the third period, it's six to four, guys, and what has been an exciting third period here. Absolutely. Baron Cup three championship, the Blue Division, here at the Brooklyn Rec Center. That was a, clearly a well-timed timeout by Canfield. Gave, yeah. gave Woke a minute to chill and come back out and just well, this is absolutely wreck house. You know, this is it here, so. Three Woke, minutes, here we go. Got to leave, leave him out there now and see what can happen. Does he have some more magic with three minutes left? Oh, folks. Canfield keeps it in. Puck is still in the Chagrin Fault defensive zone. Rostick trying to poke it away. Ooh, oh, wow. Centering pass that goes Just a missed. little wide. Dredge was close oh, to the area. What a pass. 
And here on the right wing, a shot, save, a follow-up shot in back. Nor with the save and Dupre there. Oh, a shot went wow. wide, and that was Chase Roman. That was Roman going for a second goal. And here comes Canfield, 2.17 left on the left wing, all the way in. He oh, uh, just missed, missed it. it. That was Scolari on the corner. He still got it. Oh, oh. A centering pass and a turnover. They'll have to dump it in or they'd be off sides. So now they have to. Got two minutes left in the third period here. You wonder, Bunker getting hounded by some Cardinals in the corner. You wonder when they're going to pull the goalie. I don't know. The way I would, she, I would the way. guess if they steal it and get it out of their zone, you almost have to immediately. Running out of time. Nice save by Nar, and he'll hold it's, it. It's, it's a dangerous pop proposition with it there right now. I know you want the man advantage, but not having a goalie down there with the way Chagrin Falls has been in that zone pretty much all game. It's a, it's a definite, uh, you know, it's well, a, I think it's a gamble, but you got to take it now. you only got a minute 42 left in the game. Here's the, uh, here's the thing, too. The goals that have been scored by Canfield have been effort goals. Right. Um, unfortunately, their offense has not been able to produce what, the, wow. what you want them to produce. Great puck handling there. The goalie is out for Canfield. They, they have six him. attackers. With 127 left here in the third period, Canfield trails by two. They would have been offside, so they just dump it in. 119 in the yeah, third period, six to four. They're going to have to put some pressure on. Yep. Chagrin Falls playing. Time's a wasting. Well done by uh, by Renari there. And Can uh, Chagrin Falls is passing around the corner, around the boards. One minute remains. Here comes Canfield, they dump it down. Can they, they gotta set some offense up. Time's wasting, there's a shot that's gonna go all the way down and not make it to the goal. Now Canfield trying to set up an offense which they haven't been able to do so far. In the neutral zone area, there's a fight for the puck. Wasting a lot of time right now. And there's a shot all the way down and that was by Ranieri of Chagrin <coughs> Falls with 34 seconds here in the third period. We'll have a face-off in the Chagrin Falls zone. Now this is where Canfield maybe can set up their offense. They're going to need they're going to need a quick one. Uh, Wilkes going to have to win this face-off, get into the get it into the uh, get into the zone here, and hopefully something will happen. The that hit the net, crawled the net. So we'll have another face-off with 29 seconds left here in the third and final period of the Baron Cup Three Championship game between Canfield and Chagrin Falls in the Blue Division. Canfield wins it. by Woke. Shot in front of the goal, and it went wide left a little bit. Can they keep it in? No, they can't. All the way back down with 20 seconds. It's icing. Now this, uh, with, with Chagrin Falls having to clear the puck, it does lend its opportunity to these icing calls and potentially some opportunities for Canfield. Unfortunately, they can't. Those do take some time off the clock. Absolutely right. We'll see if... Uh, We'll see if Gunn can can can. 15 seconds. Assist with keeping this lead. Centering pass and he missed it. Chagrin falls, able to send it all the way back down, and with eight seconds, there will be an icing call. But great job by Chagrin Falls on yeah. the clear there. In what was just an outstanding game so far, it looks like Chagrin Falls is gonna get a win. We'll wait until. The clock hits zeros here. Looks like they are. Uh, Chagrin Falls wins the face off. And that'll be it. Yep. And time ticks. Congratulations. That is it. The Chagrin Falls Tigers are, are the 2021 Baron Cup three champions for the Blue Division in the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League. Congratulations to them. Congratulations to Canfield yeah. as well. The Cardinals, they had an absolute great year. And what a game this was. You know, give credit to the Tigers. Canfield kept crawling back and the Tigers kept answering. They did. Canfield, um, 
That was a tremendous third period. No, no quitting them at all. No, not at all. Chagrin, Chagrin Falls, what a tremendous effort all game. Brian Probably. Woke with four goals on the game. I mean, Canfield did a great job, but congratulations, Ch Chagrin Falls. Hat trick to uh, Tyler Bookman. Tyler Bookman. Tyler Bookman had uh, three goals and one assist. And give credit, too, to Charlie Gunn. Yes, absolutely. You know, they gave up four goals, but did a great job in goal. So now they'll... Trophy presentation. Yep, Ryan Kelber, president of the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League. He did an absolute great job. Friend of show as well. Yeah. Friend of show. Just saying. I think that's a little bit more status, and in my opinion, the, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> good. Good. Yeah. The Canfield Cardinals will get their runner-up trophy. And a great year for the Cardinals. Great year, great game, great yeah. effort by Canfield. Can't, can't take anything away from them. They fought right to the bitter end. Congratulations to them. the seniors of Chagrin Falls coming for their championship trophy. Congratulations to the Chagrin Falls Tigers as they take home the Baron Cup in Baron Cup 3. And uh, got a lot of seniors on that team. So you got to wonder, yeah. you know, but they have some pretty good younger, uh, lower classmen. So we'll see. You know, it's such a special uh, tournament here at the Brooklyn Rex. They do a great job. Ryan Kelber, the president, does a great job of the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League. This Barron Cup, 50 years in what's been a crazy year, but a, really a great year for the league as Chagrin Falls will get their championship picture now. Barron Cup three champions, the Chagrin Falls Tigers. And also... Canfield going to leave the ice. And they had a just a great game. Well, yep. guys, that's not the only thing we have mm. left. We have two more games. Our next game coming up will be Barron Cup 2, where the Olmstead Falls Bulldogs will take on the Avon Eagles uh, for the Barron Cup 2 championship. And again, it's very similar to our football coverage. Olmstead Falls versus Avon. Yeah, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> that'll be. Uh, you mean to tell me they're meeting in the playoffs for hockey too? <laughs> that'll be a uh, the white division. Top teams in the white division will be uh, will be squaring off here um, in the near future as uh, as the celebration continues for the number one seed and Baron Cup three champion Chagrin Falls Tigers. Um, just a tremendous effort on uh, on on, every, on both Chagrin Falls and Canfield's part. Um, we'll do do some very quick stats here uh, for Chagrin Falls. Tyler Bookman had three goals and one assist on the day. Garen Bunker had one goal and one assist. Chase Lowry had a goal, and then um, Jace Roman had one goal and two assists. Charlie Simperman. And um, Matisse Dupree also had an assist for Chagrin Falls. Charlie Gunn in goal. Gives up four, saves many more. I don't have the official numbers because the third period was just crazy. <laughs> um, it was a lot. So tremendous uh, congratulations to Coach Jim Revax, Chagrin Falls Tigers on the victory there. For the number two seed, the Canfield Cardinals, coached by Steve Cavelli. Four goals by Brian Woke. Uh, one was unassisted, two assists by Drew Rostick, and one assist by Tyler Christie. Uh, Corey Narr gave up six goals, uh, but also faced many a shot. Um, and it was just a, you know, Brian Wilkes, in, Brian Wilkes of individual effort was yeah. just, in, was, 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 was outstanding. And um, very impressive. For sure. And, and, the, and the rest of the team, you know, they, they had their shots. Um, Woke was just unfortunately, for unfortunately for Canfield, Woke was the only one who was able to penetrate, uh, penetrate the goal there. Um, and you know, it, as we see, as we've seen very often in some of these games, you know, a team effort usually is going to 
overtake an individual effort. Um, at least on the goal scoring side, a hot goalie can take over a game yeah. for anybody. Um, so, so it was just uh, you know, what a what a way to start championship Sunday yeah. for the Baron Cup. Like I said, if this is any indication of the next two games, I'm pumped. And I, I think our fans, those of you who tuned in just to see this game, stay on because I think we got some really great games. As we mentioned before, next on our slate of games is the Baron Cup 2 featuring the Olmstead Falls Bulldogs and, and the Avon Eagles. We'll come back on the other side at when that game is about to begin to give you a little preview. And Ed will break down how each team made it to and, the Baron Cup two finals. And it uh, looks like Chagrin Falls has started a train yes. to show the trophy, which is Fantastic. they're having fun down there. And that's what this is about. You know, the kids have done a great job. And it uh, takes a lot of time and effort with uh, a long season for these guys. And now Baron Cup champions for Chagrin Falls. So we have about 20 minutes in between games where they can, uh, the Zamboni can come out, clean the ice. Get ready for our Baron Cup 2 championship game that gets started uh, pretty close to 3 o'clock. So we'll step yep. away, we'll take a break, and we will be back with Baron Cup 2 action coming up. It's Olmsted Falls and Avon coming up from the Baron Cup championships here at the Brooklyn Rec Center. <laughs> 